Hi everyone and welcome to Alt VR. Alt VR is a non-gaming VR YouTube channel and we are focusing on alternative and experimental approaches to immersive VR that is helping to explore the potential of this medium. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an avatar that looks like yourself, um, rig it for full body tracking, upload it to VR chat, but also how you can make this avatar into an NFT. So what are NFTs? So it's an abbreviation for non-fungible tokens and you may have heard about this in relation to um, all the recent developments in blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum and so on. And it's best described as a unique identifier in a way. So fungible means interchangeable. So for instance, uh, a currency like Ethereum, one Ethereum is basically uh, interchangeable for another Ethereum but non-fungible tokens are different in this regard. So it's basically a piece of data that is stored on the blockchain and the blockchain is available for everyone to see and download and so on. And this data cannot be overwritten once it is written. So if you are minting an NFT, you are basically putting this data unit on the blockchain and this is signifying a particular file and attributing it to you. So, I mean, what is so special about this? I mean, in terms of digital goods, and uh, we see the same in art, there is value to ownership here, right? Uh, and especially digital goods where people can copy your files and have the exact same thing as you, being sort of the first one or uh, being able to prove that you are in fact indeed the owner of this has value. So. When we are going to live our lives increasingly mediated by immersive virtual reality, we have our avatars, for instance. I mean, people spend um, so much time creating their avatars, and I think we will see more and more, for instance, in VR chat, as we can see in Somnium space, integration with stores uh, of NFTs, which um, yeah makes it possible for people to truly own their digital assets uh, and use this in uh, the future metaverse or whatever. So this has great potential. Um, we've yet to see any sort of really significant developments, but in the future, this can be really huge and a great driver um, for these things. So what concretely we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can create this avatar and mint it into an NFT and also use it on VR chat. I'll also show you how you can put this for sale if you want to sell your uh, virtual soul or whatever. And I've also uh, added a link to my um, the NFT of the avatar that I created, uh, which you of course can bid on if you um, have some great faith in the potential of uh, my avatar to be worth a million dollars, which of course I um, think it's uh, very worthy of being. So I'm going to show you how you can create the avatar, put it up for sale, or of course you can just keep it as your own NFT. So let's get into this. All right, so the first part of creating your avatar is to get a 3D model of your face. Now, I use the Baloo's 3D face app for iOS. This one is for iPhone X models and later. So not everyone might have this kind of phone. If you go to the description of this video, there is an overview of different applications, both for iOS and Android that you can use, as you can see here. Now, the face app that I'm using is free, but you pay $1 for each export. Now, it works like this. You look in the camera and it gives you directions on how you should move your face. After tilting your head for about a minute, you are done. And the 3D model that you're getting looks quite well, actually. Uh, it didn't really manage to uh, finish the back of my head. But for my purposes, this doesn't really matter, as you will see later. So you can now export this model for $1 and send it to your computer through email. Now, we're going to need a body for our avatar. And for this, you're going to need a 3D modeling software called Blender. Blender is free, and once you have opened it, you can just delete the default cube in Blender and import your face into there and align it with some body parts that you find on the internet. So to find a body, you can go to Sketchfab, there's a link in the description, and search for a body that you would like. Pay attention here to the copyright and creative common licenses to make sure that you have the right to use this for whatever your purposes may be. When you have found it, you can just download and import it as well to Blender. Now, by this point, you're just moving the various body parts around, scaling it up and down until you have a coherent model. When you're done with the model, you can export it into either FBX or OBJ. These two formats are necessary when we're going to rig our models later. You might also want to reduce the amount of polygons in your model if it's very big, 
it needs to be under 40 megabytes to turn it into an NFT. As you can see, after some polar reduction, I opened my model in Paint 3D and changed its color to gold and added a metallic shader, since this is a million dollar NFT after all. So continuing, we're going to rig this model using Adobe Mixamo. This is free, but you need to log into Adobe. Once logged in, you can click on upload character and drag your model into the window. The software then takes some time to process your model for auto rigging. This takes several minutes, so I will just skip it here. Once it's done, you should see a model and you can click next to start rigging it. Here you can drag the various circles in the respective area, hip to hip, knees to knees, wrist to wrist, groin to groin, etc. When you've done this, you can click next and your model will be rigged for animations for full body tracking in VR chat. This also takes some time, so I'm going to skip this process here. But you can then download your model and it will be rigged. When you download this model, choose the file format FBX for Unity and TPOSE, as we will now configure this for VRChat and Unity. Going into the VRChat documentation on how to upload avatars, we find the link to the currently supported Unity version. In my case, in September 2021, this is the 2019 port point 4.29 F1 version. There is a link to, in the description to the VRChat documentation where you can find the current Unity version that is appropriate for you at the time when you are watching this video. To download Unity, you can go to unity.com slash download. Now, I have already done this, so I'm going to create a new Unity project with this version. Choose 3D, which should be default, and call your project something like VRChat Avatar. Once you have Unity up and running, you're going to want to import the VRChat SDK into your project. To download this, you can follow the link in the documentation, which takes you to VRChat. As always, links to everything you need will be in the description. Now, here you have to actually log into VRChat to access the SDK, and you will actually have to uh, have the user rank in VRChat to do this. Now, we're going to download the SDK2 version for this project. So once you have the file, you can go into Unity again, go to Assets and Import Package, and select the file and import everything. You will then get a new VRChat tab in the file menu above, and here you should log into your VRChat account. After you've done this, it's time to import your model. You can do this by either drag dropping it in, or perhaps the best way, go to Assets and click Import New Asset. If you click on your model in the file hierarchy on the left, you will see its properties in the inspector on the right. Here we're going to click Add Component and enter VRC Avatar Descriptor. This will insert a small ball in your scene, and this ball is signifying where you will see from inside your avatar, meaning your eyes. So move this so that it fits inside the skull of the avatar between the eyes. And that's just about it, really. We're not going to do anything fancy with the mouth or anything else in this video. So after you have done this, you can go to VRChat SDK in the menu again and click on Show Control Panel. Here you will gain some information about the performance levels of this avatar, which means its complexity. Now, this is particularly important if you care about people with a quest or just those without the best graphics cards. So as you can see, my model is apparently terrible for performance, but it works quite well anyhow through testing. So to build this avatar, you can click on build and publish for Windows, and you can now choose to upload it to VRChat. So you are then brought to this interface where you can give it a name, a description, and you can also choose if this is going to be a private or a public avatar. So once this is uploaded, you can actually choose it when you are logging into your VRChat account. All right, so here I am in VRChat trying out this avatar. I like how the golden uh, reflections are working quite well with the light. It also adapts some of the colors because of this reflection. So here you can see I'm trying out uh, some of my amazing dance moves using the full body tracking that we've got enabled for this avatar. But whether you have the uh, Viva trackers or not, this works uh, really well quite out of the box and it's quite simple to upload this. Now it's time to turn this into an NFT of the Ethereum blockchain. For this, we're going to use OpenSea.com. Now there are four steps here, setting up your wallet, creating your collection, adding the NFT and putting it out for sale. So on OpenSea, there is a list of supported wallets. Now the easiest to use in my opinion is MetaMask, which is a plugin to Google Chrome or Brave. You can get this through the link in the description and you can use this to log into OpenSea. Now you can see that I'm logged in here and I've connected my Ledger hardware wallet to OpenSea where I've stored some Ethereum that I've mined with my GPU over the last months, some of which will go to pay for gas fees to mint the NFT. If you need to purchase any Ethereum for this yourself, then I recommend the Crypto.com mobile app. Now we're going to start by creating an NFT collection by clicking on My Collections. 
As this is in the Matrice collection or an OTR collection, I'm going to upload some logos to make this look a bit nice. At this point, it's really just about following the instructions on OpenSea, so you can add a name, a URL to your store, a category, and links to your Twitter, Discord, or whatever. You should also add a description. So my description is that this is the NFT store affiliated with Matrice, the VR and Philosophy blog, as well as the affiliated YouTube channel AltVR and the VR and Philosophy podcast. For category, I chose collectibles. Now you can also choose if you would like any royalties, that is if someone is buying an NFT from you and they sell it to someone else, you would then get a cut percentage. I chose 2.5 as this was OpenSea suggested. Now the most important step here is to include your Ethereum payout address in case someone is buying your NFT. If you use MetaMask, you will find this by going into the MetaMask plugin and click on the copy icon to copy your address as it sits in the top right of the plugin. Be careful to check this address that it looks the same and that you don't have a virus that is pasting a different address. I didn't really do this, but you definitely should. So at this point, your collection is ready and you can add an item to the collection. Now, you can add an item by going to add item in the top right corner when you are in your collection. Here you can drag your avatar to upload it on the page. Unfortunately, OpenSea doesn't support OBJ or FBX files, only GLB. So here I suggest to either export the base model to GLB through Blender or use the online converter that I've added in the link in the description to turn the avatar to a GLB file. You should also add an image to your avatar. Personally, I just took a screenshot of it when I was opened on Windows. Then you need to give it a name and a description just as we did with the collection. I'm giving my avatar the title Alt VR Golden Avatar and I'm writing in the description that this is the golden avatar created for the Alt VR YouTube channel uh, video on NFT avatars. So you can also here choose the supply of this item and if you want there to be only one available like me or if it should be 10 or 5 or whatever. And when you fill in all the information you can click create and the item should be ready. Alright, so we've made the item, now we're going to put this for sale. To do this, you can click on sell when you have the item open. Here you can either choose a set price or you can create an auction, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm writing 0.5 Ethereum as the minimum bid here and I'm putting the expiration date of this as the 31st of December in 2021. So when you click post your listing, MetaMask will open and it will give you the price of opening a smart contract to sell your NFT. In my case, the price here is $105. Now this may seem like a lot, and it is, but when I tried this yesterday, it was almost $500. So it's a very good idea to do this when the Ethereum network is not very busy. So I saved several hundreds of dollars by doing this. You can also edit the gas fees to be lower, but this might mean that your NFT will take forever to be available. And I don't know enough about this to recommend it. So do your own research here. Personally, I went for OpenSea's suggested gas fees. Now, at this point, I'm confirming the transactions using my Ledger hardware wallet. And when the wallet is initialized, I also get a $9 transaction fee as well. Now, after paying both of these fees using my wallets and confirming all the security steps in the wallet, the item is finally listed for sale. Now, if you want to watch my NFT on the store, there is a link, the first thing in the description of this video. And if you end up publishing your NFTs on the store as well, then please add this as a comment to the YouTube video. I would love to see these. All right, we did it. <laughs>All right, everyone, that was it for this video. I hope that you learned something. And of course, if you'd like to share the NFT that you created, please do so in the comments. It would be very interesting to take a look. And of course, it will probably sell for a million dollars, just like mine, which is linked in the description. So no worries there, right? Um, yeah, thanks for checking this out. If you're interested in more, uh, learning more about blockchain technology and the potential in virtual reality, then definitely subscribe to the channel. We are going to explore this um, a lot more in further videos. I'm also going to um, host a giveaway because we've reached 5,000 subscribers at this channel where I'm going to show you my mind-controlled VR mind palace, uh, which I'm using to memorize information. I'm also using this to memorize my crypto passphrases, so there will be a contest inside there to see if anyone is uh, actually able to guess my crypto passphrase and uh, get some, um, yeah, quite significant sum of uh, cryptocurrency. So if you'd like to uh, stay tuned for that video, then definitely subscribe too. So have a great day and I'll see you around.